Hello, my name is Stephen Carr and I'd like to welcome you back to another SketchUp cooking class. In this class we're going to look at creating sections in the model. Um, I'm, you have to think a little bit about what you want to do for where you want to have your section set up. So you may need to go into your different layers. If I go into my... and I'm just going to turn off my roof and my ceiling for a second. Ceiling and... Okay, so this allows me to sort of have a look inside my plan. I think I'd like to have a section looking this way into the room. And um, I think it would be nice to have a section possibly looking this way in the bedroom or in this way in the living room or possibly section through here would be okay, but we have the kitchen kind of in the way. So I think this would be one very nice section and this would be another nice section to look at. So I'll just put my layers back on and let's see I've got an image layer, don't want that. So I'm just going to do a section here again using my section tool, I'll click on this face, select this and move. So I'm just going to go through into my living room just right to here trying to get into that room uh, and without affecting my coffee table it's a little bit hard I guess this is about as close as I can get so that's looking really good uh, click on my back view and again because this is a section I have to make sure that I'm in parallel projection sections are never done in perspective sections are done in parallel and again, I'm going to go into view and turn off my section planes. So I'm just going to go into here. And what I'm trying to do here is I only want to see the, the, uh, this part of the section. I don't care about what's on the deck. I don't care about what's in the kitchen. So I just need to try to set this up so that basically it fills the whole area. Not too concerned if I don't get my roof all totally in here. The most important part is actually this part here. So I could probably even go a little bit more. So when I'm in uh, Photoshop, I can fix up this other area. I'm not too, too concerned about it. This looks really good. I'm quite happy with what my section looks like here. So I think I'm just going to add a scene. And again, my materials, I have to look at my materials. If I wanted to do a different color on the wall or if I wanted to add a wallpaper or something like that, that would be fine. So just go into my scene manager. And I'm just going to move this to the right. So I have my plan view, my rendered plan view, my rendered plan view and section. And so this is just going to be, I'm just going to rename this Section 1. And this is rendered. So that's pretty nice. Um, I'm happy with that. Again, I can click on my color. And I can uh, right click, add a scene. And I'll just rename that section one colored. And I'll add one more section. And this time I'm going to change that to black and white. View. Add my profiles. And right click update save as new style and now I'm going to just call that section 1 PW so that's good um, now I need to go back I guess to my this section here actually 
go to this section here and I'm just going to go out and I'll just go into view and undo that section plane here actually if I go into this view here okay so actually this one I'm trying to get into the position where I can get into my views without having any any problems with them. So this one is a good view, uh, except for I need to turn on some layers here. So I've got my ceiling layer, my curtain layer, and then also my roof layer. I think I've got most of my layers turned on here. So I want this section to go through this area through here. So again, um, I've got to be careful to make sure that my parallel projection is on. And I'm going to click on my section here. And select this. And now I'm going to move this into my living room. And this would be my left side here. So now I'm going to just pull this over here. And I think everything is looking pretty good. So I've got, uh, this is showing with my dining room table. I could um, hide some stuff if I want. View, hide my section geometry. Again, I need to fill my screen up so that it's basically showing the things that I want. I'm okay showing a little bit of balcony, but this is the area that I want to see here. So everything is set up pretty good. So I'm just going to add a scene here and I'm just going to keep on moving this till I get over to the other side and we'll just call this section 2 rendered and so now I need to uh, if I'm in my styles So in model, this is my black and white section. Um, I want to do color first. So now I can add a scene here, and this one becomes section 2 dash color. And now I'm going to play with my sections again to get. There's my black and white section, so I'll just add a scene here and this becomes section 2 BW okay so now if I look here there's that there's that there's the other sections. So it's just a question now of exporting these files again. Same process as before. We just go into File and Export as a 2D graphic. 
going into our work folder and this becomes small house plan render only this is a section now section one I do the same thing for my color, my black and white. I set up section two, rendered, color black and white, and then I'm ready to bring them into Photoshop. So thank you. Uh, we'll see you for doing the perspective uh, views next. Thank you.